visit to South Africa, we were able to discover some awesome artists, and uh, he was one of them. And we just saw that this work was uh, beautifully handcrafted, and we had to have it. So, you know, another color theme that we didn't have in the collection at the time was uh, this kind of array of green uh, that's also in the collection, which is one of my favorite colors. I just like how it symbolizes how walls separate us from what's on the other side, and. I think that can be interpreted by the individual any way they see fit. So it's a powerful piece. Well, one of the things that, that I love about this work is the title, so Joy and Pain, because we have a son about that age right now that's flipping and doing cartwheels. This young boy is in a state of joy, and he doesn't know what may be approaching in his future. Give some insight to, to what goes on in the uh, black community, the young black boys growing up in this country. This is the work you can stare at for, for hours. Um, their stare, their gaze, uh, the way in which they're focusing on each other. Um, it's been special. One of Jessica's favorite works. I just love the, the way he painted this work to make these kids stand out. And then the glasses, you know, that, that's a whole nother, that's a fun factor of this one, you know, the different colored glasses that they wear, so it's definitely one of my favorite works in the collection. So recovery, rest, reflecting, taking a break is probably one of the most important things for you to be successful in the National Football League. Um, one thing I love about this piece is how Robert played around, you know, with the, um, the coffee stains. Having kids and having daughters, anytime you have this type of imagery, it always evokes some type of emotion. They're not running. No uh, there are no worries. I mean, you could tell there are no worries. So it's like it's this this concept of rest that, that really resonates quite a bit. Um, she created this piece um, the week that George Floyd was murdered. The piece at first was completely black, and then she came back later and she painted the white just to represent the um, you know police brutality, you know white white on black crime, and then she used the red to represent bloodshed. A work that I literally is it sits in my office and the work that I, I study uh, quite a bit. Having two young girls and being able to see two young girls, um, two young black girls at that inner work is so powerful. Um, it's been one of my favorites. It's been in the household uh, and the collection for a number of years now, so a huge fan of her work. And the title of this piece is uh, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. It just represents, um, you know, everything that's going on right now you know, in conjunction. So I love how he drew from uh, history, you know, and, to uh, and connected it with present day, you know, to make this piece. So it's one of my favorites.